specific question like uh, which students ask is like when they prepare the number of test test series, the number of tests they need to attend. Uh, because we see that once the students fail, then they will go for uh, and then 100 tests, 150 tests. Uh, still we are not able to clear. So is it uh, like what was your strategy and how much test uh, students should attend? For number of tests, uh, my personal advice to you that select a test for one coaching institute. What I seen, so many students <coughs> collect from market from different different uh, source and uh, two, three, and four coaching institutes uh, test paper. So you should focus a test paper from one coaching institute and uh, my personal advice you select the vision IES. Because the test papers philosophy behind the vision IES and when we, you solve that questions, the type of the question also asked in UPSC and uh, the question asked in Vision IS test paper that the philosophy is like same and your thinking process also same during both of the papers. So only if some of your friend says that uh, you select that one, I, I am solving that coaching institute's uh, test paper and uh, last year asked so many questions from uh, the test papers from that coaching institute. So don't divert. Visionize very nice. Uh, Visionize uh, so test papers very nice. So select that one. And again, 30 to 40 question paper enough to solve for prelims. Around 35 paper for that year, for that current year, if you want to uh, appear in 2013 or 2022 then then they started that uh, their uh, uh, their test papers uh, right now and you sold all the 35 papers and if you feel that uh, I am very low and uh, you are scoring very low in that papers so in which area you felt sometime weak so put, write down the topics in which topic you are feeling weak, write down and make the notes. And again and again revise that test papers, that 35 test papers. Solving many different test papers from different coaching institutes is not a good thing. You solve single test paper, uh, single coaching test paper again and again and multiple times. And the main philosophy behind that, uh, solving the test paper that in main, uh, in particular in UPSC exam, you can make your thinking process uh, by uh, your thinking process uh, same like uh, in, in test papers you solved already in, a, in vision. So it just make you feel more comfortable during your examination. So the philosophy behind the Solving the more number of test paper around 30 to 35 and uh, 40 is not like that uh, you see number of questions same in UPSC. The main philosophy is time management, pressure handle, and uh, thinking of process. So you solve single, and my personal advice for CSET 2013 to 2021 question paper solve and in UPSC also. From 2000, in GS paper, you sold uh, 2013 to 2021 question papers, all the question papers, and uh, in particular schedule time, in particular UPSC schedule time, you sold all the papers with same efficiency, uh, with same energy, and after that analyze that papers, that what type question asked in UPSC in last years, in previous years, and uh, uh, what type my thinking process, how I wrong 
uh, that question uh, in this particular question what my thinking behind this uh, this particular question so this analysis power you make more strong and uh, they able to solve that uh, that particular paper in that year you are appearing that particular year uh, that help a lot yes rahul is it Uh, sir, uh, like right now in these years, uh, we are having one uh, uh, buzz in the YouTube that's telling elimination technique. Once uh, they want to eliminate the options using those tricks, and does it work or how, how much? How do we need to utilize them in films? Uh, yes, uh, I seen that year paper, Miss Two Thousand Twenty Two paper, but uh, I not analyze that paper. But uh, student and his friends uh, said that uh, this particular year, UPSC eliminate the elimination technique. <laughs> so UPSC also analyzed so many times. You know, he UPSC collect collect so many papers from market. He also analyzed the videos, what videos, what type videos going through uh, YouTube. and the philosophy and the spirit of upsc behind that that he want to make a level playing field for all the students maybe he from uh, rural background from remote areas someone from the uh, urban areas so he analyze the papers the trends going on through youtube so he analyzed that elimination techniques these techniques and uh, going on through youtube and some specialists also in elimination technique they uh, they especially masters in elimination technique so this year they eliminated that technique so if you want to clear the upsc exam you should focus on that topic the upsc wants to clarity on a particular topic so you should read that topic make the notes and if you feel some doubts in particular topic you ask you can see the video you can read the blogs on different different websites and make the notes and just clear that topic because without clarity you can't solve that questions and without clarity you can't be a good administrator if you like a confusion type person and doubtable person then how can you take decisions miss good decisions in in, in administration and in challenging tasks because in ground level you feel many time so many challenges and uh, no one because you are holding that supreme authority and you are looking here and they have for taking the decisions so you should be clear at the, your mind level so the philosophy of the upsc in every task in every level of the examination is clarity of the topic analysis power sometime if you not aware the topic you can you have the right kind of guess work and uh, so these also works during the exam isn't it so what was the question we are doing like the elimination techniques and other uh, things so hard to use so elimination technique will work only when you have some knowledge about the topic means concrete knowledge if they are asking particular question and they given uh, five points if you know about two points and uh, then you can also solve by the elimination technique but if you are uh, aware about the only single but point if you aware about uh, two points then it is quite difficult to solve that particular question so your first priority should be clear uh, that particular topic with clarity and uh, with more information so you can easily solve that particular question uh, particular question in examination so 